San Antonio, the two types of food you're most likely to find are Tex-Mex and barbecue. When you're in Texas, you gotta eat big like a Texan. So that means a bucket of macaroni and cheese, bucket of beans, gotta have your jalapenos, and of course, your barbecue. Mmm! And what exactly is barbecue? Well, barbecue is a whole lot of different types of meat that usually get your hands all messy. There's nothing more Texas than, than barbecue. The idea is to have something that's just full of flavor, nice and moist, very tender, not quite falling all the way off the bone if you're talking about ribs. It's a very long and involved process to cook barbecue. We're talking an entire day just to get it right. It's definitely not as easy as throwing hamburgers on the grill for a few minutes. We smoke these for about six hours with just a little bit of our dry rub. Uh, we keep them about 180 to 220 degrees. That's really the key, nice slow and low. You always hear that, but it really is about slow and low. And there's no propane or charcoals running these giant grills. The key to the unique taste of this meat is the type of wood that you burn. And in this case, it's oak, which is the flavor of choice for Central Texas. A casual setting is also a big part of eating barbecue, and that usually means a large yard packed with rows of picnic tables. You don't do barbecue indoors, you have to do it outdoors, covered with nice big oak trees and a big play patio for the kids. That's right. And uh, it's all about the experience. There's a lot that comes on a plate of barbecue, and nothing goes wasted. Your fingers get all dirty eating this barbecue, you just use the bread to wipe off your fingers. And then after you wipe off your fingers, you got a tasty piece of bread. Mmm. And on the other side of the food spectrum, you've got Tex-Mex, which is a mix of both Mexican and Texan influences. And this wonderful exotic duo creates some of the best food on the planet. We're talking enchiladas, guacamole, rice, and beans, and it is so good. One of the most popular items on any Tex-Mex menu are fajitas. The main ingredient is grilled meat, and that usually means steak, topped with some sort of peppers. And you can't miss the sight and sound of these guys. It's amazing that more fire alarms don't go off. And my favorite part of the Tex-Mex experience are the margaritas. Frozen and fruity, on the rocks, or just plain huge. Cheers. Mm. You really can't go wrong with the food in San Antonio. The only problem is you might leave a little bigger than when you arrive. 